Tonight, a state of emergency declared in New York as the coronavirus spreads across the country. Like theaters across the world, the Billie Holiday Theater remains closed, yet our hearts and minds remained open, figuring out ways to connect with you in unique, new, and meaningful ways. While we all continue to deal with this unexpected landscape, that is COVID-19. He carried the weight of every black person in the city on his back. And a whole bunch of white girls too. Skittles and hoodies are a dangerous combination. Taste the rainbow, not at the expense of your life. The past 400 years, we want reparations. We wear the mask that grins and lies. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. George Floyd's story has been the story of black folks because ever since 401 years ago, the reason we could never be who we wanted and dreamed to be in is you kept your knee on our neck. Giant bright yellow letters painted on the pavement along Fulton Street in the heart of Bedford-Stuyvesant, spelling out the message of a movement. It is the place. We are the largest community of African Americans in the entire nation, Central Brooklyn. So it is imperative that we're a part of this. In the terminal, I started to walk away from it, and he told me to stay where I was. Am I under arrest? Yes. Now the situation was way out of control. I had heard these stories so many times, and now I was in the middle of one of them. On what charge? I don't have to tell you that. He stepped back and spoke into the radio microphone hanging on his jacket. I couldn't hear what he said, but a few minutes later, three other troopers showed up. They surrounded me. If there had been any doubt, it was clear now I was not free to go.